these are traditional rivets so these this means they have two parts one part has a flat surface and quite thick solid stem and the other part is like a washer or what's referred to as a burr these ones in particular are a bit smaller than you might have seen so traditionally they come as size 12 and size 9 the smaller the number, the larger the rivet. So size nine is the biggest, size 12, the next one's down. And these are actually a new one called size 14. Uh, so a little bit nicer for slightly more lightweight projects, slightly smaller items, but you still want to have that nice traditional look to it. They come in uh, solid brass as well. So for a more goldy kind of brass finish. And they also come in aluminium for a silver finish. So you'll notice that those are all soft metals and you'll see why as, the, uh, as we go along. So I'm just gonna make a hole in my strap for it to go through. This is my Poundo board, my rubber mat um, on top of my marble slab. So I'm using the hole punch size zero. Um, you can use size zero or size one for this. Just hit that through. and I can pop the rivet through. I'm going to pop it through because I want it on the top side for this purpose. So I'm just going to push that through. Like so. Now I have my rivet pushed through. I'm going to move my Pando board. I don't need that anymore. And the washer will get put on top now. If I try and push that down, it doesn't go very far. It will go on a little way. So I think you can maybe see that on the camera there. But it won't go any further than that. So what we now need is the setting tool, which is this one here. And you'll see on the end of this, it's got two parts to it. It's got a hole and it's got a concave dish. So for the first part of the setting, we're going to use the hole. So you push the hole over the top of that post and then using the mallet we're just going to hit it down and it goes down really easily until you get a really tight fix to your leather or your layers of leather and the great advantage of these traditional rivets is you can go through however many thicknesses you want because you've got a long post here so you can go kind of down through thin leathers, thick leathers. It's all about just the burr going to the top of the rivet there. So I'm happy that that's gone in nice and tight. So next I'm gonna to go to the rivet pliers which are available on the website as well. Um, you can use other sort of tin snips, that kind of thing, but these have been designed for these rivets. So I'm gonna push that on. I'm gonna push it right down and it's been designed to clip, a leaving a little bit of a raise. So it's not clipping straight to the flat bit. I'm going to squeeze them together. They go really dead easy. They've got a good spring in them. I'm going to pop my hand over the top just because I don't want the, the um, top of it just ping off anywhere. There we go. So there's the top part of the copper. And that leaves us with kind of about a couple of mils poking up and a bit of a jagged edge. So to neaten that out and to finish setting the rivet, we now go to the concave end of the setter. And we pop that over the top. Now for this, I'm actually going to use my heavier um, rubber mallet. So I'm still using rubber because I don't want to damage my setting tool. But it's just going to give me a bit more heft and weight behind it. So what that does is that rounds over that top bit of the post that's left and flattens it down. I'm going to give it a little bit more. And that fixes it down. So it's kind of spread the metal across the back of the burr, really securing the burr in place. And you saw how we drove that down anyway. It's not going anywhere. And that gives you a nice neat. You can carry on hitting that a bit, to get, to get it even flatter. But it gives you a really solid, neat fixing um, that looks very attractive.